Hello and welcome to the Tech Bytes audio cast. My name's Tim and I'm from the Oak Bytes Blogger Z and with me is Dr. Roy Shesterwitz from the Tech Rights website. It's Friday night and I'm gonna get sauce. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost. He tried to boss me and was outbossed. I fought the troll and the troll lost. I fought the troll and the troll lost Underneath his creeper bridge Hoping goats will cross Quoting Ashcroft and Tom Ridge I Okay, welcome to episode 59 of the Tech Bytes audio cast. I'm Tim, I'm here with Roy and uh, I'm glad to say Rusty as well. It's been a, another week and a bit, I think, since our last episode, so uh, we'll get straight on with the show. And Rusty, I think you're going to start us off this week with a... A bit of a discussion on Google and the relevant facets that have uh, come into the news over the last week or so. So, Rusty, over to you. Uh, y'all are just concerned what everybody else on the Internet's concerned about, which is the, you know, they wanting everybody to use their real names. Um, you know, releasing videos on YouTube stating, well, we want it to be like real-life conversation, and I, I, I kind of snicker at that, because I don't know about the rest of you. I don't walk up to a random bum on the street and go, hi, my full legal name is so-and-so, please screw with me. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's exactly what they're inferring. But, I mean, it, that is the latest in a long string. I'm not sure Google really obeys their don't-be-evil philosophy anymore. I don't know where you two stand on that. Not any more OPR thing, isn't it? I heard this joke about a couple of people in the garage and are working on a company whose motto is going to be uh, uh, "Don't be Google." <laughs> and uh, and it's funny. I mean, actually, what you mentioned about real names—it's it's it's one way to try and reduce the effects of uh, SEO and trolls and all kinds of bad things. But at the same time, it's actually encouraging them to harass people uh, who know their first names and addresses of you know if they know the names, they could actually come to your house and so. You know, some very vicious people I've heard of before. The yeah. first name I don't care about so much, but there's no way to block your last name from showing. And if you're one of these people who were stupid enough to give them your real legal last name, you've given a license for the uh, some people who can be real. Well, I guess I guess uh, I don't want to don't want to cuss. I'm trying to think of a synonym for the word I want to say, but <laughs> you know what I mean. What? Well, um, my take has always been this, it was a bit of a storm on, in a teacup because Google itself, when they came forward and said, right, use your real name, it doesn't stop people from using real sounding names. If I say my name's Tim Smith, how would Google disprove? Now, I know in the news as recently, there's been uh, Google have been challenging people's names and asking them for proof of ID, but certainly in my sphere of, exist, of uh, experience, there's been nobody that I know that's been challenged over the name that they've used. Now, Google's yet to come to me and asked me to prove my surname that I put on when I registered with Google Plus. So I would be very I'd be very surprised if this is anything more than really just some sort of PR stunt by Google to suggest that they are far I, more I, far I, more friendly than Facebook. Where I, I don't think it's a PR stunt. I think they do legitimately want people using their real names. I mean Schmidt stood up and said it's an ID service for crying out loud, not a social service. But it's, Go ahead. No, I, I, I was just going to say, by, by all means, it, uh, I think they've turned it on its head and used it as um, a, as an excuse to say, look, use your real name because it cuts down on trolling and uh, people with malicious intent because well, you have to use your real they, name. And, they, it, and, I, and it doesn't. I they want the real names. So the privacy concerns and everything aside, I think ultimately Google wants to use plus one scores in their paid ranking algorithm. And if bots are able to set up Google IDs and do that and game the system, you know, you're going to have link farms just like, mm-hmm. you're going to have plus one farms just like you have link and like farms. And Google wants those to be obvious so they can teach their algorithm that doesn't know how to think to block them out. Mm-hmm. But the collateral damage can be pretty large. I mean, all, all is not lost for those that want to engage in a social network similar to Google+. Plus. And, Rusty, you weren't here last week when we were discussing a diaspora, which I'm now a member of, which is offering this, the same type of service as Google+, Plus, but with more freedom over your uh, your identity and 
and your data itself. So there, there are solutions out there for people interested. I think the problem with the social network, like say Google Plus or Facebook, is their largely success or failure depends on the mainstream masses because of course the social network can be very private, very secure, um, allow you to use whatever handle you like. But if it hasn't got the users there in the first place, it's very little use to anybody. So it, really the arguments that people have over Google Plus and Facebook will be determined by the mainstream masses who really don't care about these type of issues or don't consider them. And Facebook has proved that in the past. Uh, if you look at, I don't know how many users are on Facebook. I don't know, uh, Roy, do you know, have any stats? Uh, 700, I think 700 uh, million as of the beginning of August 2000. And- uh, and there, there are some estimates that are estimating by the end of next year that will cross the billion mark. So, mm. it's, it's, and as, like, as far as Google, the prediction is the uh, is a hundred, a uh, hundred million people probably by the end of this year. Now, well, that that depends on whether or not they get it out of this. You can't register beta that it's in right now because. Mm. I mean, what I've noticed about Google Plus so far, and I've been using it for about three or four weeks on and off uh, due to a busy workload elsewhere. But what I've noticed is Google Plus for me is far more relevant than Facebook would be. I've got no interest in watching what my colleagues are up to in their spare time or which pub's the best place to get cheap uh, lager. Uh, I'm really not interested in that. So to have Google Plus and relevant tech conversations, I think is it's been fantastic so far. And if it means that Google Plus never achieves the success that Facebook does, then so be it. I think it's far relevant to myself and uh, certainly the people that I've got within my circle of uh, people I follow is certainly more relevant to them as well. And, well, you, and, and if you think about it, what Google Plus is, is it's like a weird hybridization of the Twitter stream and the Facebook socialists, mm. and with a filter in it, mm. uh, which is useful, but, you know, like you said, it depends on how large it grows in the public thing. I, I, I've reached the conclusion at this point that whether you love or hate Google, the internet will be taken over by Google. The debate at this point isn't when that will happen or even if. It's will it be a benevolent or malevolent dictatorship, and mm. we're hoping for one over the other. But yeah. yes, it's uh, it's going to be one one of those things that to uh, wait and see. But one also- of the things that happens with Google though, doing what they do now is the conversion from IP addresses into IDs. I mean, one of the things that I'll tell you I see now is they have this thing called Google Profile. Have you guys seen that before? Google Profile. Yeah. yeah. Mm. Uh, and what, what basically happens is if I go to that site, they uh, remind me of the fact when I do a search, right, if I have logged into YouTube, for example, to upload a video, as they very often do, uh, especially since they start to do the WebM support, uh, they basically keep me logged in. And, of course, YouTube is, you know, belongs to Google. Uh, now they use that as a, an ID for you, so when you do a search, they can assign it not to your cookie and not just to your IP address, but to an actual person, okay? So they keep all of this history. They try to customize to improve your results, so they have these excuses for why they might want to do that. Um, but then when you go into all these, you know, photos and videos and your friends, and now you start to mark your friends, and they have all this data of exactly what you're doing, it's, it's quite a concerning issue. It's a double concerning issue. It's the same way with, um, and you'll notice this if you start going to sites that have AdSense ads. Like you'll ha- you'll you'll wonder why am I seeing ads for blah blah everywhere? And if you think about it, sometime in the last forty eight hours, you or somebody using your computer did a stray search for blah blah. So now Google thinks you want that, and it's showing it to you everywhere you go. And I find that personally more annoying than helpful, because my I'm constantly switching gears of what I'm in. But they're they're going to continue to do that. And if you sign up for a Google Plus, you just created a Google profile. That they're merging those in. I think there was a lawsuit, or perhaps a complaint about the use of your friends to try and sell you the product you might be interested in. So what they'll do is they'll try to use your friend's face, for example. I think that's LinkedIn, which was doing something like that. Uh, you have to actually tick a box, I believe, now to tell them, please do not use my face or my identity to try uh, to create an advertisement. So I'm assuming from that their plan is to try and use your face and your identity to sell something to someone else. 
and you have to opt out if you don't want to be part of it, but by default you are in, in, in this thing. I'm not sure that's what, that's what the controversy was about a couple of weeks ago, but this is, this is one of those features that I kind of worried about. The other thing I thought about, you know, some businesses do want to convert my IP addresses to identities, and actually have people logged in with a password.